morning everyone and welcome back to my shop aka public street today we're gonna be putting some new gaskets on an oil cooler right there where it meets the block of the engine because it's leaking coolant uh, so let's go ahead and start doing this this is an oil cooler gasket kit but we're not gonna need all of it we only need two or three of these uh, orange ones or red ones whatever you want to call it all right right there is where the problem is right around here it leaks coolant very little bit but hey little by little and the leak will get bigger if you don't take care of it so we're gonna have to take this whole freaking thing off now man I feel like this is gonna be a very big job but I don't know well first thing that needs to be done on a job like this is drain all the coolant we're not gonna have to drain all the oil but I can't find a drain uh, plug whatever for the radiator so I guess we're just gonna take this plug out and uh, just let it all drain out all right got all the coolant drained into uh, buckets it's about 10 gallons I think so now we gotta take this uh, this is a heater hose for the bunk for, or for the sleeper then the turbo feed line I think that's what that is gotta take that off gotta take oil filters off take the oil whatever this is heater some kind of heater I, I know it has a proper name but I just can't remember it gotta take these off and we cannot reuse these we have to get a new ones I already have new ones but you should definitely get new ones do not reuse these the reason that you don't want to reuse these is because they've been on here for a while and they already have grooves in it from the from the oil cooler and from this pipe right here and uh, it's just impossible to put it back uh, without leaking so yeah replace them all right now that that, that thing is off right off of there the easiest way to take it off would be if you had a pick you just put it behind here pull it I think I left mine at home but it's okay you can also use a screwdriver all right for our next step we're gonna take these off I already loosened these up looks like mine is 5 16 yours will probably be different or it might not be different I don't freaking know man whenever you start taking this piece off there's gonna be still some coolant left in the oil cooler and in this pipe right here that goes to water pump make sure you have your bucket under there so you can catch all the coolant okay so now this is off of the uh, cooler now we're gonna start I'm gonna take this thing off I think this is called block heater but I may be wrong you plug it in you plug the power in on the other side over there under the driver's door and this heats the oil in the engine so it starts easier during the winter time I guess it heats oil and coolant as well at the same time so you can just use pliers to get this uh, thing come on are you gonna come or no I don't know I might break it let's see okay no I didn't break it it's just a plug okay good deal we did not break it <laughs> all right all right so now for our next step we're gonna need to take these oil filters off so you're gonna need one of these bad boys I bought this at uh, what is the place Fleet Pride 104 to 118 millimeters that's the one that you need if you have Detroit 60 or 12.7 uh, or 14 liter okay this could this could get messy okay well, that's not too bad all right are we gonna save these oil filters 
because we gotta reuse them. There's only about 5,000 miles on them, so I just recently changed the oil. I don't know why I tightened these up so much. But I guess I shouldn't be tightening them up that much whenever I'm changing the oil. All right, now we got to get that oil line off right there. And we're going to need to use three quarters, three quarter wrench. All right, now that the turbo feed line is off, all we got to do is take off four of these right here. There's one there, one right there, and two of them are down here on the bottom. And those are gonna be 15 millimeter. Gonna need a 15 millimeter socket to take them off. Let's see how easy or how hard it is to take them off. There we got some blood. I fucking knew it. This shit always happens because I'm never, I'm never careful enough. I was pushing on this one and my hand got scraped on this fucking thing. It is what it is. All right, got it washed off with alcohol. Put some of this shit on there so that I don't get a bunch of dirt on it. All right, so that one that was right there, I took off with an impact real easy. You just have to have a very long extension. That one down there, you can get to it with the impact, but you have to have these extensions that are wobbly like that. So that whenever you put it on, you know, it'll be at, the extension will be able to go at an angle. Come on. Just like that. All right, got that one off too. The ones on the bottom, you're not gonna be able to get to it with extension. So you can just use your wrench and uh, lay down on the bottom and pull on it. Okay, I think we are ready to pull this fucker off. But I think it'll have to come, come off from the bottom down there. Let's see, let's see what happens. Okay, I've never done this before, so bear with me. Okay. That's not too bad. It looks like there's a gasket right there for, for the oil, right there for the oil. And another one goes around here for the coolant right there. Uh, I'm just not gonna take the whole thing out because it seems like it's very hard. So we're just gonna take the gaskets out and put them on like this. Come on. That's the old one. So now I'm going to get a very fine sandpaper and sand this orange stuff off because that's where the old orange was or gasket. Very fine paper, like the finest one you can get. All right. Well, I think the reason it was leaking coolant right here is because with the new gasket kit you get the round o-ring right here and what it, the thing that was on here before was this kind of square thing gasket square o-ring whatever you want to call it uh, so I think that's why it was leaking we're gonna go ahead and put these on so the small one goes on right over here Okay, there it is. And then this bigger one, it goes on right here, kind of feel with your fingers. Okay, right there. I've been told I have magical fingers. I don't know what that means, but hey. Okay. I think we can go ahead and put this thing back on. It's 
very freaking heavy. All right, we got the uh, oil cooler back on. Now we're gonna start putting everything back together in reverse. Gonna run the Freightliner and get uh, some new oil filters. I'm gonna put new oil fil filters after all, so. Yes, sir. So now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put this uh, turbo feed line back on here. Okay, now for the next part, <clears throat> gonna gonna go ahead and put one of these uh, the new one back on there and I think this is gonna be the hardest part of this job honestly because these are a pain in the freaking ass to put on man but you know sometimes you just gotta spit on it a little bit and it slides right in so this is why you don't wanna reuse one of these whenever you take it off because it already has grooves in it to whenever it was mounted on there and if you were to put it on there, you would have a leak right there around this thing, 100%. This is a new one. You see how smooth it is inside? And you see how that one is not? It's got the channels in there or whatever. You want to put, put the new one back on. I think the easiest way is to slide it on the oil cooler first and then slide this big pipe in. Well, we'll see. I think I'm gonna go ahead and replace this one up here too. And then we're gonna put the one on uh, down there first and then the one up here. Okay, so the easiest way to put this on, finally figured it out, stupid idiot. Put this one on, start it out like that, and then slap it on there on the water pump. But this one down here that goes to oil cooler, slide it onto this pump all the way. Great. Great, you fucking moron. Just dropped the camera in the oil. <laughs> but thank God it's waterproof. All right, so we're going to slide it onto water pump. And now there's a lot of room here. If I didn't do that, it would be very hard to put this thing on. Very hard to slide it back on here. Actually, even better, slide this one on first, and then the one up here by water pump second, because you have a lot more room up here to push this uh, hose back over the water pump than you would down here to push it over the oil cooler. Alrighty, there it is. We are going to reuse our old clamps. All right, well, we got that back on with the clamps. Now let's put uh, this thing, whatever, wherever it goes. I think it goes to some kind of heater and then the block heater down here. All right, everything is back on there. We gotta run the Freightliner get some new oil filters and also I'm gonna run home to get some kind of strainer to strain this uh, coolant before we put it back into the engine all right got the coolant strained and I poured most of it in I think we got about a gallon or some or so left maybe a little bit more we gotta turn the engine on and get the level down from this reservoir but also got new filters we're gonna fill them up with oil and then put them on there all right one of them is filled up time to put it on there every time you put new oil filters on make sure you take some oil in your finger and rub it on this gasket up here okay new filters are on let's go start this thing and see if we did a good job or not. Well, it seems like the truck is running fine. It is freaking hot outside, man. 103 degrees. So, let's go home, get water.
washed off that maybe hit the pool or something. 